In this video, we will look at how we use the distributive property to simplify an expression with parentheses. As we do, let us look visually at what it means when we multiply the 2x minus 7 by 4. Multiplying by 4 means we're going to add it several times. In fact, we're going to add it four times. So we have the 2x minus 7, I'm just going to ignore the parentheses for now because they won't make a difference, and we're going to add it four times. 2x minus 7, that's 2, plus 2x minus 7, that's 3, plus 2x minus 7, that's 4. It's there four times. Now, if we were to combine like terms on an expression like this, we would have four sets of the 2x, or 8x's. Similarly, we would have four sets of the negative 7. 4 negative 7's is negative 28. Now, this would be quite extensive to do, to write out 4 of this expression when this number got to be very large. So as kind of a shortcut, what we'll do as we use this distributive property is we take this 4 and we say, well, that means we've got 4 of these 2x's. 4 times 2x is 8x, and we've got 4 of these negative 7's. 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. And so what we see ourselves doing is we are multiplying this number in front times each term in the parentheses to get the same answer as if we added it over and over again four times. So in this next example, negative 7 times 5x minus 6, what this means is take the negative 7, and multiply by 5x to get negative 35x. And also, whoops, negative 35x. And also, distribute the negative 7 to the negative 6. Be careful to keep the signs with the number. A negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 6 is 42. Similarly, if there's just a negative sign in front of parentheses, we always assume the number 1 is in front of everything. So what this really means is to distribute negative 1 onto each term all the way across. Negative 1 times 4x is negative 4x. Negative 1 times negative 5y is positive 5y. And negative 1 times positive 6 is negative 6. And we get our solution. The distributive property is a nice little trick we use whenever we want to get rid of parentheses.